Hello everyone, this is Roy from Wicom. Today I'm going to present to you about Wicom new PLC LX 5V series. In this presentation, it contains four parts. Why we can't launch LX 5V PLC? The main features of LX 5V PLC. The comparison between LX 5V PLC and LX 3V PLC and some applications of LX 5V PLC. Why? In the market now, it has more applications, requires the faster PLC. It requires faster scan cycle and high load rate. Those applications normally is with, with more access, more than four access for motion control. And the PLC requires more resistors, more timer, and bigger data capacity. And the motion control, such as some function like ECAM and eGear, will be very important. And the ladder programming capacity should be bigger. How we call RX 5V PLC to be a faster PLC? Number one. It can be 0.01 microseconds to 0.03 microseconds for the execution speed of basic instruction. The highest flow rate can be 921k and 600. Number two, the interrupt response within 100 microseconds. Number three, it has 128 timers response within one milliseconds and another 128 timers response within 0.1 milliseconds. Number four, it contains maximum eight channels of high-speed pulse input, which can be 150K Hz. And it supports maximum eight channels of high-speed pulse output, which can be 200K Hz. The motion control of, of rx 5 VPLC, those features would be very important. The high speed pulse output could be A channel, 200K Hz. The high speed pulse input could be A channels, 150K Hz. And ECAM, e gear to be supported, and PID control, CCPID control to be supported. RX 5V PLC supports more registers, such as it supports 64K latch area and 76K data capacity, and 76K program capacity. In this picture, it's showing about how RX 3V PLC compared to RX 5V PLC. They, they upgrade uh, mainly on those features. The execution speed is from 0 0.06 microseconds to 0 0.01 microsecond to 0 0.03 microseconds faster. And high speed pulse input it, on 3V, it only two channels, and now 5V can be eight channels. The high speed pulse output on 3V, it has none, and or two or four channels. On 5V PLC, it contains eight channels. And the standard RX 5V. LX3V PLC has no ECAM and eGear, but on 5V, they are all supported. And the PLC software is different. LX5V PLC using PLC Editor 2. It is easier configuration and easier programming. And LX5V PLC, it has only five main units, but 3V, it has eight main units. 5V only 14 input, 12 output, 16 input, 16 output, 24 input, 16 output, 24 input, 24 output, 36 input, 24 output. And rx 5 v PLC is fully compatible with rx 3 v BD boards. All rx 3 v BD boards can be supported, can be compatible. Also to the rx 3 v PLC modules, such as the eight input, eight output relay, eight output transistor, 
and others can be compatible on LX5V PLC. And with Home PLC Editor, the standard one can be programmed for LX3V PLC, 3VP, 3BE, 3BM. And with Home PLC Editor 2, it supports LX5V PLC. And now Wicom is developing LX6V PLC. In the future, it will support FPD and FC programming, la programming language. And now let me show you some applications that are using LX5V PLC. This is a N95 face mask packing machine. And this is a face mask packing machine factory, which is using Wicom products. Pillow packaging. They use ECAM function. And this is double packing machine. H3 can make one package. Three makes one package. Also pillow packaging. And this is chicken packaging machine. And this is vegetable packing machine. It can be different lengths. The package can be different lengths. You see those vegetables, some are shorter, some are long, longer. And this is chopsticks packing machine. You know, all Chinese are using chopsticks for dinner, for food. You can sense when this is not fit to cut. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much for listening.